this thing on? Last year I took an online class while I was between jobs. I needed to get my progress report filled out for my academic eligibility. I wasn't sure what to do. <laughs> I uh, never received my grade. I, I couldn't find the syllabus. I couldn't find the instructor's office. <laughs> he won't answer my emails. I fell behind and I couldn't catch up. I got kicked off the team. I was supposed to graduate last semester? Still waiting for it. <clears throat> hey, down here. I took an online obedience course last semester and I had to drop out. I thought it was going to be easy. I had some technical issues. I didn't know who to ask for help. It was frustrating to say the least. As online course offerings continue to increase in number and popularity, it is important to ensure student success and retention by keeping students engaged. And in order to meet state and federal guidelines, online courses need to demonstrate and document regular and effective contact. What is regular and effective contact? Good question! It is the established and nurtured connection between course participants and material through a varied set of tools. What kind of tools? discussion forums and blogs, and regularly scheduled assignments. Progress reports? Yes, progress reports, filled out and submitted in a timely manner. What about email? Definitely email, and in addition to phone calls and office hours, face-to-face -face contact is a good way for an instructor to connect with students. <coughs> yes, group projects are a great way to connect online students to each other. I'm going back to college to get me some regular and effective contact. Regular and effective contact will get me back in the game. With regular and effective contact, I can accomplish anything. Regular, regular and effective, effective contact, contact will help us transfer to a four-year institution. institution.